I've come out to Minster Marshes today to have a look at what wildlife is around. It's very autumnal now, it's cold and it's windy. And one of my friends, Kingfisher Keith, has told me he's put a little wooden perch out for a kingfisher and that the kingfisher has been using it. So I thought I'd take the time one out to try and film it for myself. A kingfisher only has one speed and that is fast and low over water. And most of the time when people are lucky enough to see a kingfisher, it's just a blue flash and a beep beep. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you what's involved with trying to film such a thing and the patience that's involved and how I go about doing it. Now, you need to find yourself a good little spot where you can hide. So take a bit of time to find that spot because you might be sitting there for an hour. Right, so I've got myself set up now in this reed bed. I've got a load of loose reeds just here. And I've got myself comfortable. I've got my camera on a tripod fixed on the perch. And I've got a manual focus, so I'm just, I'm only filming that perch. If the Kingfisher comes elsewhere, I'm not gonna try and film it. I'm relying on it sitting on Kingfisher Keith's Kingfisher perch. Right, I've been waiting here for about 25 minutes now, and I've had nothing nothing at all <laughs> but what's important about this kind of stuff is just to enjoy the experience you know I'm having a nice time sitting here relaxing just like when people go fishing you know it's just taking it all in and I don't want to try and you know strive for the best video the best picture what, what will be will be I'll have a good time oh there it is there it is it's coming it's coming it's really far away the perch is about 40 meters away but i've just seen a kingfisher go into a bush a bit further away but i'm not going to move my camera oh it's beautiful so i've been here about 45 minutes now and it's just turned up oh there it comes here it comes it's on the perch it's on the perch yes yes i've got it on the perch brilliant oh it's a beauty it's gonna dive it's going to kingfishers need to eat about 15 fish a day they eat minnows and stickleback and in the spring they eat tadpoles and they will eat insects as well in the winter they often head to the coast as well i mean they get a very small home range and in thanet if the rivers freeze up in a harsh winter then they'll often go to the coast to fish there it a harsh winter can be fatal to the kingfisher population it really can i mean kingfishers have about a brood of 10 and a lot of them will die within the first day of fledging if a kingfisher on its first dive gets waterlogged it will just drown there and then so it's a hard life for a baby kingfisher they nest in holes in the riverbanks and mink are a massive problem for for them they'll hunt them out oh it's beautiful look at that oh it's, it's dived Ah oh, yes, <laughs> didn't get anything, but that's so exciting. Wow. That blue on there, that orange, beautiful. The females have orange under their beak. The males have an all black beak. And that blue on, on the back of the kingfisher is not the blue feathers, that's, that's the feather cells. And when the light shines through them, it gives out that amazing iridescent blue glow. And it's off, it's gone, it's gone. Oh, that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. I mean, nearly an hour I've been here and I've just been treated to about two minutes of Kingfisher, but the adrenaline is pumping through me. It was so exciting. So that's what it takes, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. That's been really good fun. I'm so pleased it worked out.